TV segment brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Michelle Berquist, your host today, but with me are our fabulous leading ladies because we are going to dish on the topic that I think is relevant to all of us as women in business and women who are leading in what we do. I want to welcome Kathy David, Hello. CEO and founder of IT Tech Pros, and Cynthia Trevino. Hello best-selling, number one Amazon bestseller, and all about she markets in business, yes. marketing mentor. So yes. welcome, ladies. Thank you, Michelle. This, this is fun. I love it. First holding your mug on your knee like that. I like this that. This is going to be fun. Yes, yes. super fun. These yes. are our new Women Lead TV mugs. Yes. I like yes. them. I have to be left-handed now. There we go. At any rate, I want to welcome all of you to our session. Today, I want to talk about, these are almost like, you know, polar words, that it's like, I hope it strikes a nerve with all yes. of our, all of our uh, listeners and, and audience, and that is, bitch or boss and I don't know about you but as a female leader it's like I hate when you know you're as a woman leader when you're a boss sometimes you're tagged a bitch and especially people will call you bossy if you're trying to be emphatic or I mean what do you guys think because I know I had all kinds of examples where people just go you're kind of a bitch and I go, but I'm, you know, I'm just being in charge but I'm right. curious what you guys think well you know mine sort of comes from back I'll draw back on my corporate career because I was in corporate for like oh so long I don't even want to think about it no, <laughs> right, 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 right. so when I was in corporate and I started inching my way up the corporate ladder I mean millimeter by millimeter <laughs> And of course, I've always been, I've got a loud voice, I'm five foot ten. I towered over most of the men, and in the 80s, um, I was at a corporate headquarters, and it was 95% men on the headquarters wow. staff. And um, when I would speak up, I was always labeled aggressive, I was called a bitch, I was called, you know... Get a little you, emotional. Maybe, yes, you're oh, too emotional, crying. you know, and they're, they're like making good points, and I'm emotional, so I think for me, that just sort of stuck and I tried to temper myself and, and edit myself and and try to, I was always trying to be, you know, the square peg in the round hole. So so there's a little bit of that. And then when I, uh, like suddenly, I became an overnight entrepreneur when I, after a massive downsizing from the, another company, it was like, oh my gosh. And, and it took me a few years to find my footing so that I could, because all of a sudden I was, everything was so new to me as we talked about, I didn't go to sales school, which I should have, because when you're an entrepreneur, right. you're in sales, yeah. you know, and I did. And so um, it took me a while to, to speak back up again and not to fade into the background. But here's I, a question on that, because I feel, and just get a redition on this, that it's like, how can we, if I had to go back in my corporate career, I mean, honestly now, I feel like I wouldn't care. I mean, do you feel like when somebody calls you a bitch, I almost feel like going, thank you. <laughs> right? right? You're right. Yeah. So myself thank today, you. my 60 something self today would definitely say thank you. But when I was in my 30s even, I was still so um I took it to heart, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And and even even now as an entrepreneur, if I don't get a deal or if I get I take it to heart, you know? I didn't get a speaking gig or whatever it was that I was trying to get. And there's a, still a little bit of me and it takes me Maybe a day or two, a couple glasses of wine. Only <laughs> <Me> two. <laughs> to sort of get it. How about you, Kathy? I, yeah. do, do you have that? Yeah. So you I'm can always never get it. it. I'm, I'm sorry. This is you. You'll, you can never. Well, there is a way to do it in style. Ah, and I, I think I do it in style. I'm taking notes. Yes. Yes. Here. So um, I too. I think I've always been, so growing up, I was that child that no one could control. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to control me. I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. And I did learn to step back and be quiet and suppress my natural self. Mm -hmm. And what I have learned is naturally I was assertive mm -hmm. as a young girl and I took that with me to you know working in corporate and I think that's how I landed my corporate role at the age of 19 is being that assertive young girl. Um, again, there's, there is a way to do it in style, and I will tell you, though, looking back, I was like, yeah, damn, girl, you were a bitch. <laughs> you know? Inside, and, but not out. But, yeah, inside, but it was the way for me to get things done. And now, again, my, my 40-year-old self is saying, like, wow, you know, being assertive is not bad. That's actually, like you said, there are some tempering that we need to do in order to be effective. Yeah. So, yes. Assertiveness in, is actually really good in leadership. Yes, it is. But you know, I'll tell you. I saw an article, mm -hmm. and it was by Fortune 500, right? right? For, excuse me, Fortune magazine. And one of the articles was 
women who smile more, right, right get better results in business. If you don't right. smile, people don't take you seriously, right. you know, you're not as empowered, and I'm thinking, and that is me by nature, one, because I'm getting older and I feel like I need to smile more, but uh-huh. I'm really curious, like, please, thank you. I don't hear men doing that as much, yeah, but it's yeah. like, get this done. Yeah, there's no there emotion with it. How mm-hmm. is it that we can work with that? Or do we still need to use please and thank you in your opinion? Well, when I say like do it with style, yes. I think for me I've had to because, you know, that was how I was groomed and taught working in, in corporate, right? So it's worked to my advantage. But there were some situations with other groups where I was just flat out told like, gosh, you know, you're just being a little asshole. Wow. You know? And I have to step yeah, back and say, like, yeah, it's just like, well, no, I just know what I want. Yeah. And sometimes yes. it's misinterpreted, but I think there is a way to deliver it in that way. Like you said, hey, you know what? Um, do it with a smile. And you, you, it does. You're right. It goes a long way when you do it with a smile. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? You, you do it with a smile. Bitch, but, I mean, <laughs> I'm totally but there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I think we do have a lot of sort of undoing Right, yeah. undoing and unlearning all of the yes. things that yes. we've learned and really move that forward in a positive, more productive it way. And then dealing with the double standard, right? And, the, right. and men can yes. do it. Exactly. Yeah. So what comes to mind for me is I've heard this, the resting bitch face. Remember when that? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I can't believe we're talking about that. Yes, yes. I know. It's old, but it's still like, just because women, like, why aren't you smiling? You know, it's like. Because I'm thinking. Yes, really. Exactly. Uh, no, but when was the last time they said to a man, why aren't you smiling? I mean, you know. And so that sort of, I, I think there's obviously, there's a lot of cultural things that we have mm-hmm. to overcome, but, and I mean, I don't want to get into politics, but let's face it, in politics, women are dinged for oh, so many things that men are never dinged for, yeah. you know, and, and they're never brought up. So it is a cultural thing, but I think, isn't it, oh, but this is the age old, you know, women, we need to change the perceptions, mm-hmm. don't we? we and do. how do we do that? How do we do that where, especially, and I think in business, and in corporate, right? Corporate, you know, there's there's a culture there. It's like, you know, you're a little more homogenized, if I can put it. Yeah. You know, when you're an entrepreneur, think wild, wild west. I do what I want. And, right. you know, I, I own the results that I get as a result of that. But when you work for somebody else, I mean, how can that change? Is it is it, you know, and even women don't support other women. What would be suggestions you have on how we can change that? Because Or just say, you know what, I'm good to be a bitch. I'm good, thank you. I love that. You know, I, I wish my 30-something self, my well, 40s would have, would have, but, you know. I bet comes back, I bet come back for everything now, we, we all We all get better. We all learn, right? We're all going to be smarter next month than we are today, right? <laughs> so, but I, but I, you're, you're right. I mean, it's just like the, a lot of the things we've been talking about, like women asking for help or asking for an introduction. And, and starting with the relationship, but it's also like if somebody says, especially if it's a man, like why aren't you smiling? It's like, you know, when's the last time somebody asked you if, if you were smiling? You know, and, and so I want to be snippy now that I'm, you know, independent. But do you think that's a good, you know, is that a good mo? Because I, I think you know, if I, if I was in corporate America today, and, and and a man, and again, we're not men bashing. Let me right, say no, this: no, we're about how we're women not. advance. Because there's plenty of women who are supportive. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. But I think if a man said to me, it's like, dude, why aren't you smiling? I'm like, you know, because I'm really thinking real hard. Mm-hmm. You know, or something. Just I like that. Be right. an attack. But right. I think you know, to our younger generation, it's like if you are in that situation, you know, I, I, you want to be ready for some of those comebacks. And the other part that ticks me off most of all is women not having each other's back. Let's talk oh, a little so, bit about that. Oh, so we've you know, in corporate America. I agree completely. Do they, don't they? Is this still an issue? Oh, in cor- well, well, when I was in corporate, it was, you know, I I honestly never got help. And, and somebody would even, I had just not great experience in corporate. I mean, I, I, went, I went pretty far and then I hit the, mm-hmm. I hate to say it, the proverbial concrete ceiling. And, I think and it's glass. <laughs> for me, it was concrete. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it. So, yeah, so, so. Why are you smiling? I know, I know. know. And they would say, well, you should do this and this and this. But, and I didn't have, uh, now I wish I'd said, is there, could you help me with this? Could you help me with that? They wouldn't help me. They would just say, you need to do this. And they were all things that were things that I would need an introduction. I would need help. I would need to find a mentor. And I would need some coaching. And I think it's like, I think, Maybe, as whether we're in corporate or we're entrepreneurs, if women just do coaching of each other, right? If we say, gosh, Michelle, is it okay if I give you some feedback? 
Do, what, what do you think when somebody tells you that? No, I love that. I think checking for understanding, but I think a bigger one is when you were talking about mentors and sponsors, um, and we're talking about how what we do differently if we had to work our way back. Like you came from corporate America, yeah. you know. There's uh, and, and when you did your Sue talk, there was the kind leadership approach, mm -hmm. and to me, I think that's what I love the most is how can you be fair but kind and yet you know I, I have a tendency to get emotional and I think that would be one thing that I wish I could change it's just to have it in step that I don't need to react to what you say but I definitely can you know discuss or I can give feedback so what are your thoughts on women that like they get all pent up and then that emotion comes through right and I think it just takes time and, and exercise and experience because we are still even though the last five years we've seen an exponential growth of yeah. women getting into entrepreneurship, which is awesome. Yes. There is still a lot of learning for all of us because mm -hmm. it is this conditioning that starts from the very beginning, even from the nurture part, right? Girls yes. are supposed to be sweet. Girls are supposed to do things a different way. And Good boys, girls. yeah, yes. and boys can just do whatever they want. And yes. there is this conditioning that regardless of where we land, where we're from and the, the, the globe, we do have, we carry that along with us. Yes. But the good news is that it's changing, and that's why we're here. And it does take conscious effort. Yeah, it takes conscious effort. Um, how, how do we then get past that? You know, without having to explain ourselves or without having to be sorry about what we say and our actions, it's just you know what? It's just being okay, being you. Yes. And I think that's 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 really good. Yeah, yeah being, being you, okay, being right? You because I think for women, it hasn't been okay to be women. You know, we can't. You know, we are expected to have a, you know, go to school, have a family, get married, right, mm -hmm. have children, yes. and there's that juggle pressure, it juggle it yeah. all, have that pressure. Yes. And then, you know, when we, whatever you decide in life, there is that thing that is always going to be, like, right here. And, you know, and, as, and yeah. really quick, just yes. my thought, and if we decide not to take that path, and, right. or, like, for me, I was a young mom. I worked in corporate. I wasn't a stay-at-home mom. Not, not that I'm saying I, I admire women who are stay-at-home moms, but it's a term being for labeled, year, like, I think, yeah, well, I I, go yeah, don't, don't go there. But <laughs> even for me, you know, having that guilt, right, um, and, and ha having to behave a certain way because I am a, a married woman, I'm a mom, and have to be expected to behave a certain way in a business environment, there's a lot of pressure on all of us, to be quite yes. honest with you. Uh, where I'm at right now, there sure. is a lot of double standard, and it does take a conscious effort to say, okay, now I am in business for myself. Mm -hmm. I gotta get shit done. <laughs> yes. You know, and you do have to take charge in with your own success, and we, we don't have to excuse ourselves or apologize. Well, uh, that's where I want to dovetail, right? Because right? this whole topic of bitch and boss, right? Do you remember, I think both of you will remember, that Gillette commercial that just came out recently? Oh, yeah. That was, was about the men. Yes. And, you know, there was some real controversy. This was recently, the yeah. Gillette commercial I that had about that. men should it behave. It's like, how are we bringing up our men? Now, I think most women were, like, cheering about this, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I guess my question is always, what is it? You know, now that it's like when women, in order for them to be better leaders or a better um, manager or boss and not be a bitch or whatever, it's like we always have to adapt. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it that we can ask men to do a little bit of that adapting, right? You know, kind of like halfway, we're two genders, we roll different ways. What do you guys think about asking men to change a little bit about who they are? <laughs> that would well, be my request. That's, that's, Please that's, change a little bit of your behavior. You know, and, and I agree, but... There's only certain men that are going to feel comfortable. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of them are just going to keep quiet. Yeah. And but what what I would hope for is I if, like if I if in a perfect world I think women would give each other feedback. Mm -hmm. You know, privately after something came up, like if somebody perceived you being bitchy, whether it's corporate or entrepreneurial, if you're you know in a meeting or you're collaborating on something, and if it, because. Only other women will see, like, I get emotional, I get emotional too, and I get, uh, and then Tashy. it clouds my, it, yeah, you know, it clouds my thinking, and then later I go, oh, I should have said that, you know, and oh, you know, and then I beat myself up, Why? so it, it, it's almost like, if I could have more women 
take me, like Kathy would say, Cynthia, you know, in that group discussion, if you had just said this and this, I just take it better from a woman, and if obviously it's it, it's within with the best of intentions, right? And I think that would lead to more women supporting each other publicly, right. I because so. because I think there's a lot of research that says women might support each other privately, but when it matters, like in the moment when you know um, somebody's getting uh, rained on because she's being female in a business environment, well, hello, you know, it's 2019, get a, get a grip. It is, and I, this is for you, Kathy. It's like, what do you think about this whole thing where women, I'm sorry, women can't be bitches, let's go here, because I've been in scenarios where I've been with small groups of women, and they will be extremely catty over how men act, but they're like having like this little gossip session about it, and I think that's not okay. Right? Yeah. Because, you know, we're asking for a higher standard where they're, they're saying, did you see so-and-so, what so-and-so said, and he didn't this. And I'm like, that's not okay either. It's like for women to kind of almost kind of like be like, maybe, um, dismissive of men's behavior. It's like, I don't know. What do you think? Because honestly, it was like, it's catty. I, I, it yeah. bugged me. Well, there's definitely a lot of that still, like adults behaving badly. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Both men and women. Both right? men and exactly. women behaving, behaving badly. And this yes. is when I said, you know, there's a lot of, we need to be very intentional and conscious about our actions. So we are aware of these bad behaviors that happen. So me as a leader, because I'm, I'm all about, you know, leadership and and how do we change the world? And I do live in an idealistic world. Wait, number one Amazon bestseller. Right. I missed that. Yeah, exactly. so bad. New school leader. New school number leader. One. I am the number one Amazon bestselling book. Published it in August. But it, it is that, you know, I live in an idealistic world. And I think all of us need to have some type of ideal of what are we, how, how we want our world to look like. Mm -hmm. And as women entrepreneurs, we are leaders. So we do have to take that first conscious step and conscious effort. Like you said, you're seeing these group of women yeah. behaving badly. You just say, hey, I, I hear what you're saying. Not okay. Not okay. Mm -hmm. Call it out too because guess what? They're calling you out too, right? So might yes. as well let's just right. have this, this open dialogue of when you do see some someone or people or group behaving badly, step up. Love step it. up to the plate. Yes. Love that. We got one minute left, so final thought. What would be one thing that we could tell all those lovely women out there about what to do in dealing with the perception that if you are in charge and you get tagged as a bitch? Bitch or not? Taking, taking the beat, letting go the emotion, maybe if you think to yourself, okay, that person is a jerk, and <laughs> and this is what we need to what what we need to focus on in this moment is this whether it's the issue a topic or whatever it is and to, just taking a beat and then bringing everybody back to the moment and then you know later you can go rah, 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 rah. <laughs> right that's when we drink wine over a glass of wine exactly <laughs> <laughs> Kathy what about you when one final thought well for me like I said being aware enough to know if someone gave me that feedback then it's sort of like, hey, that's interesting. Let's have dialogue. Mm -hmm. And again, taking that right. leadership, active approach versus being passive about it and right. taking it personally. And that's fine because words do hurt. I've been called all of different names. Yes. Uh, we all, we all have. We can unpack those. Yeah, those that's things. another session. Exactly. <laughs> but the thing is, taking a step back, and it all boils down to, again, leadership, emotional intelligence, and being aware, wow, I got that feedback. Let me explore it a little bit more. Let's have a conversation with Michelle. What about my interaction with you prompted you to call me a bitch? Yeah. yeah. So I'm telling you, the next one, the next Women Lead TV talk show is going to be on conflict. I mean, how we deal with it. I mean, yes. we can lash back and all of it. So I want to thank both of you for being our leading ladies today on our so uh, TV show. It's like, let's coast our little mugs for yes. our Women Lead TV yes. show. Yes. Awesome. Yes. All right. Thank you. We'll see you on the next session.